So I've calculated utilization. Now I actually want to check what happens with that utilization. And I want to build in a couple of if then checks. So I'm going to say if control space there, it picks up my local variable utilization. If the utilization is zero, I use a double equation to, to check equality. If it is zero, I want to set the color of that shape. So let's start shape. I can't remember what I called it, so I start typing shape, control space. There it is, shape assembly machine, dot control space. And I can scroll down and see what methods do I ha have available to me. There's a variety. Ah, there you go. Set for color is the option that I'm interested in. And it asks me um, which method do I want to use, the one where I provide the color or the one where I provide the paint. I'm going to go for the color version. Take out the color. Start typing color. I know that in Java, color has um, a couple of preset values. You can create your own color if you want to as well. I just press control space and there it actually picks up. Color is, is a Java um, class dot control space. And there you can actually see a variety of methods. These are all static. And in this case, I want to make it white. So if the utilization is zero, take the shape assembly machine, which is the rectangle that we've created and set its full color to what? To white. But what if utilization is not zero? We have to do the next check. So we say else if we provide the new condition, if utilization is smaller than or equal to a third. So to make sure that I don't have any rounding errors, I'm going to say 1.0 divided by 3.0, which will calculate a third exactly. So if it is smaller than or equal to a third, do something similar. Shape assembly machine dot set the full color. And in this case, color dot green. And I carry on. Else if utilization is smaller than or equal to two-thirds make this shape assembly machine oops wrong dot set the full color to yellow And I know that there is no other condition that I'm really interested in other than whatever remains. Clean it up a bit. Otherwise change it to red. I don't have to test another condition and I just close the else block with a, a closed curly brace. So I calculate the utilization and I do a couple of checks. If it is zero, set the full color to white. Else, if it is less than or equal to a third, change it to green. Else, if it's less than or equal to two thirds, change it to yellow. Otherwise, actually set it to red. And this is what I want this function to actually perform. I can save my model, but I actually need to tell my model when to execute this function. And typically, every time that an entity arrives at the delay or it actually leaves the delay and it actually goes out the block, it should update the function every time. Both cases, because every time that an entity arrives at delay, that variable will actually change. Assembler.delaySize will actually change. And it will also change 
every time that a unit is released, it's assembled and it actually leaves the machine. That then assembler.delay size will change um, value as well. And every time it changes value, utilization should be recalculated. So I can go to my assembler block, scroll down to my actions, and there I can set what should happen whenever something enters delay. Remember, it, and the entities will only enter delay if there is sufficient number of bodies and doors available to be assembled. So I can just type the function. It was called update. Let me start typing up, control space. And there it picks up my function called update color. And that's the function that I want to execute. And as soon as it's out, before it leaves the assembler, I want to update it again, update color. And that should actually change the color of my machine. Let's see if that works. No errors so far. It seems we do have an error here. Root conveyor bodies invalid entity length value is zero. Stop, let me just sort that out. Go to our body, double click on it. What is the length? Whoops, the length at this point has been dropped. That should be 0 0.5. Don't know why that happened. Zero. The width should also be 0 0.5 and the height should be 1.5. I can speed up the model slightly. Don't want to make it too fast so we can actually see the effect. There it starts changing from green to yellow to red. And it seems the machine is continuously busy over two thirds of, of its capacity. Maybe that's a good thing. And this is the model that I will upload onto ClickUp called small factory underscore B. There was one thing that I just want to change to make it clear is if I click on simulation main or if I double click on it, it still picked up the original name before, before I actually saved it. So let's just rename that to B as well so that I know it won't confuse us afterwards when we look at these different models. 